Hi everyone, in today's video I'm going to show you how I hand painted the Grinch on this nail. I am practicing because my sister-in-law wants a Grinch manicure set and I just wanted to see if I would be able to do it. So I first did a couple coats of Revel's Veronica dip powder and this Grinch image I actually just googled Grinch cartoon image and I tried to find an easy one that I thought that I would be able to draw. Um, so that was my <laughs> rough draft, I guess. <laughs> so on the nail, I'm actually using a pencil and I'm going to just outline and I end up doing the face also, like drawing in the mouth and the nose and the eyes and everything. I just wanted to make sure that everything was going to fit and that I would be able to, well, like I said, <laughs> fit everything in there. So it's kind of a waste of time, I guess, because I end up covering everything, but I just wanted to make sure and also to make sure that I would be able to do it that small. I did have some issues with the eyes later on, you'll see. I need to invest in some gel polishes. They're so much easier to use because if you mess up, you're able to just wipe off and start again. And for this video, I end up using acrylic paints because I don't have any gel polishes. And the acrylic worked. Um, it just does not dry completely smooth like a gel polish would after you cure it. And I think that that might have been where I had some issues with the eyes because I didn't have the flat surface that I needed to work with. So um, I did my best. I think that it came out okay. Uh, of I have some improvement that I could, of course, work on. But I think for my first time and still being new to drawing this smally on smally, this, <laughs> mm, I don't think that's right, this small on a nail, I think I did pretty good. And I mean, it ends up looking like the Grinch. So, and here I am just showing you, I bought these, I need to invest also in some good brushes. Um, especially a detailer brush. I bought the this set on Amazon. And what I'm doing here is I'm just taking my cu um, cuticle clippers, or is that what they're called? I think so. And I'm just cutting off some of the bristles on this brush so I can make it smaller to try to get more fine line details in on this. But even doing that, it still was too thick. I should have probably cut some more off, but um, I wanted to leave that in there to show you as an option. I just, I haven't been able to find um, a detail brush and I've ordered quite a few. So hopefully I will get lucky soon and find one that works for me. And right here, I'm just outlining the Grinch in black with uh, it's the Maniology Black Stamping Polish that I have. Like I said, gel polish is better because you can just wipe it off and start over if you get a line too thick or if you mess up or anything like that. So that is what I am doing right here. These are the acrylic paints that I'm using. I have a green and I have this yellow that I'm going to just mix together until I get the shade of green that I want. I probably could have went a little bit lighter with his color because after it dried completely, it was a little bit darker than what I wanted. But I mean, when I do my sister-in-law's nails, I will know for next time that 
I need to go a little bit lighter than what looks right when the paint is so wet, if that makes sense. So here I am just mixing and after I mix, I'm stamping, or not stamping, but like putting some on the paper towel above just so I can see the color better. And I'm taking a dotting tool and I'm using that to fill in the Grinch. So with this, I'm really loading the end of my dotting tool up and kind of just making dotting motions so that I can get a th kind of thick, even layer and try to get it as smooth as possible. With gel polish, you would be able to also do this and cure it and then go right into the rest of it. But I actually ended up having to wait like an hour or two. It, it was probably close to two hours. I wanted to make sure that the thickness of the acrylic was completely dry before I went in and started messing with anything else. So, um, yeah. So I'm just filling that in. And here it is all filled in. You can see that it's not even. But I'm taking red stamping polish from Born Pretty, and I'm just going to use that with my dotting tool to fill in the hat with the red. This is after it's completely dry. So like I said, I waited a couple of hours and I'm coming back and taking some more of the black stamping polish from Baniology. And I'm going to start working on the face details. So the mouth, the nose, um, the eyes, and the eyebrows. Here I'm just showing you, if you can see between the eye and the nose, there's a thin black line where maybe the polish had dried a little and became like goopy and it hooked to my brush and like kind of stretched out, if that makes sense. But I'm not able to get rid of it because I'm using an actual stamping polish. And again, if you used... Um, gel, you would be able to just wipe everything clean and start over. And here I messed up. You can see that huge long line that I made for um, like where his eyelid eyelashes. And I end up trying to fix that. And this, I was going to cover it with this white stamping polish from Maniology. And it wasn't the same color white. So I'm cov covering in the whites of the eyes right now and I know that the Grinch's eyes are like a yellow color but I thought that because his body was a little bit darker than I wanted the white would make it pop a little bit more and I'm just going in now with the same dotting method that I used to fill his face in and I'm making the like white cotton fluffiness of his Christmas hat and the little ball. And I think here, yeah, I tried it and it's way too white. So what I end up doing is just taking a clean brush and I dipped it in um, acetone. And I'm just very gently trying to stay just on the top of the 
dip powder and not pushing hard because I didn't want to take any of that color away and I'm just working to try my best to get rid of that line that I had messed up on and I'm out of frame but that's what I'm doing <laughs> so here I am showing you you can still see like a little bit of the black kind of like a shadowing but I took off as best as I could and then here I am trying to go back in to fix the eyes and to outline those again from where I had put the white polish I think that the eyes can really make or break a character or anything that you're drawing and I am by far no artist so I did my best, like I said, I think that the outcome of it, it looks like the Grinch, like you're able to tell what it is, so. Here I'm adding the eyebrows on and I realize that while I'm editing, you can't really see. I probably should have zoomed in a little bit, but at the end, you'll be able to see a close-up of his face and see how I put the eyebrows on. And now I'm just going in and outlining everything again in the Maniology Black Stamping Polish that I have just to make the outline darker since I had colored him in and did the white of the hat and also filled it in with the red. I lost some of the black outlining, so I'm just going in and doing that to everything that I need to. And here I'm just going in and adding like little lines to try to make it look like there's, you know, creases and like shadowing kind of. So that's what I'm doing here under the eyes and I did some under his mouth. Just finishing the outlining and he is going to pretty much be done here. So I want to thank you so, so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.